Hello everybody, it is Lisa Boy here, and welcome to my second ever video. Today is going to be a Pokemon room tour. So exclusively all the Pokemon stuff that is in my room. Since, you know, this will definitely have a lot of Pokemon content. This is YouTube channel. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So first things first, we have base jungle set. Japanese Pikachu on the back of my phone with a little Pokeball. So yeah, I keep that around with me for good luck. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna be entering the room. So right when you enter the room, you will see, bam, gallery region. It's the whole map. I believe it came with the Sword and Shield map. So there's Hammerlock and just the whole map in general. So yeah, it's a pretty cool design. And yeah, it's the first thing that you see when you walk into my room. So I don't want you guys seeing absolutely everything in my room. That's like an invasion of privacy. But I do have this little Pop Pikachu and Pop Squirtle from my two friends. They gave me these gifts as birthday gifts. Um, so thank you, Kami and Samir, for these gifts. <laughs> if we go down here to the bottom drawer, uh, there's a bunch of cards that need to be sorted out. Some are being sold. Some I might change my mind about selling. Um, and also there's these, the um, like the promo, like big cards. So this will tell you which which ones I've bought. And I bought the Toxtricity, Meowth VMAX, Rayquaza GX, which is Hidden Fates, I believe, and the Pikachu GX with the EV inside. So yeah, here's some cards that are up for sale or I just don't know what to do with them just yet and I'm trying to find out. So yeah, a lot of cards. <laughs> and we have this little thing. Um, it's not too Pokemon related, but I mean, I, I guess it is. There's the um, controller for Nintendo Switch, little Pikachu in the back. Um, now, if we get my art stuff out the way, we have the Hidden Fates like um, poster. It's really cool. It has a bunch of shiny Pokemon on it. Mewtwo, Rayquaza, Zoroark, Metagross, Charizard. I love to get that card but yeah hidden fates um so yeah i keep that uh because i usually open pokemon cards right over here and i use that as a little you know background image so yeah before we get to the holy grail i have these two little pikachu plushes and i hope i could get more pokemon plushes because i feel like two is just too little um but yeah this is a really old pikachu he's super fat and we have Pikachu with Ash's hat. So yeah, I hope I can get more plushies in the future. So now let's head to the Holy Grail. All right, so here it is. We're gonna go sort it one by one. So let's go. Just to knock these two bad boys out the way, we have Snorlax from Pokemon Quest. I believe my brother has the Gengar and Pikachu. I gave him those two as gifts and I kept the uh, looks like a Marowak, it could be a Cubone face, I, I think it, mm, I don't know, I, probably a Marowak, yeah, and these two bad boys, so there's these two, so now I showed you these two guys, we're gonna go into the first little cube, uh, so let's get into it, okay, first little cube, we have some little figurines, we have, looks like this is from Oras. It looks like a mega, <clears throat> I mean, uh, what is that thing called? Uh, Groudon, but uh, there's a certain name for it. Uh, I just can't think of it. Bidoof, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I had to buy this when I saw it. So yeah, super cute. Tepig, it looks like he's sneezing or constipated. I don't know, but it's uh, it's there and it's kind of cute. This Mega Lucario, super sick. I honestly can't remember where I got these from. I wish I knew, um, other than the Beedoof, I know where I got the Beedoof at. Uh, here is the Mewtwo pin from Hidden Fates, the pin collection. So I did manage to get one of those. Uh, if we're gonna go back here, we have the player guides for uh, Guardians Rising. Yeah, Guardians Rising and for Cosmic Eclipse for the trainer boxes. So we have the trainer box here. There's no no Pokemon cards inside or anything. So those are the two boxes. I have my sleeves, some trainer cards that I might sell in the future or give to people. Hard case, um, filers, 
and a lot of um, Japanese cards of Sword and Shield, which we might show in a later episode. But yeah, let's head to the second section. So this second section is a little less organized, but we have all the pins here, which I've been able to have a decent amount. Uh, Detective Pikachu one, which is the most recent. We have a Groudon, which is pretty cool, actually. I like the red color. Uh, this is a Lolan Executor. I believe this came with the theme deck. Um, boom, boom, boom. Here's a Garchomp. And here is a Hoopa from... Steam Siege Ring of Lightning theme deck. So, yep. Let's get into the playing fields. All right, so I haven't even looked at these. Um, so this is gonna be a first for me as well. So let's open these up. They're probably too big for the camera. So I might have to move the camera about but, oh, this is actually kind of sick. All right, so let me just grab the camera and I'll show you guys. So this is Forbidden Light. I don't think I've ever opened any packs for this, but here's the Alolan Zekitor. We have the bench, you know, prize cards, active Pokemon deck, discard pile. We flip it around, we have Lycan Rock. So yeah, this is actually a pretty cool one. I never opened it. So yeah, there's the first one. I believe there's more. A bunch of these that I just have never um, used. So maybe I will in the future, so I'll hold on to them just in case, but yeah, I'm not, I don't know, like, I'll, I'll show them just because they're there, but yeah. We have two more, um, battlefields, or play mats, so I'll show you guys these two right now. Alright, so here's a second one from the Hoopa Steam Siege Ring of Lightning. Uh, Hoopa here, and Volcania, Volcan, is that his name? Volcania. Um... So yeah, a little more like steel or metal type of decorated battlefield. So into the final one, I believe this is a Groudon type theme. Yep, so here it is, Cosmic Eclipse theme battlefield. Got primal, Primal is the th word I was thinking of with um, this guy right here, Primal Groudon, I believe. So here's Groudon and Kyogre on the other side. So I'll just flip that over, bam. Yeah, pretty cool things. Uh, I hope maybe one day I'll use these. Um, so let's get into the rest of this second box. I have all of these. Like I said, I've never really played the game, so I'm not sure what all of this is for. Um, we have all the dice that came with the trainer boxes and stuff. Um, we have this very old um, tin. You see, it's like absolutely destroyed. I wish I could find out where it's from. Oh, well, this explains where I got the Groudon. Oh, no, that's actually a different design. Hmm, okay, then. But, yeah, there's one of four Diamond and Pearl series boosters. So, this is from Diamond and Pearl. Hmm, very interesting. Okay. All right, next one. Let's see, this is the Solgaleo one, I believe I got. Somebody gave me this. Uh, Samir gave me this for my birthday. Shout out, Samir. So... Yep, pretty cool. And we have the Necrozma. Um, I got this at a fair, actually, and this is what got me back into Pokemon collecting. So, yeah, I'm really glad I did that. Also, uh, with Samir. <laughs> here is a Charizard box. I'm not sure. What was in here? Does it say? One of three special foil cards. Venusaur EX, Charizard EX, or Blastoise. See, I don't have any of the three. So that really sucks. Uh, there's definitely a lot of cards that have been stolen from me or just have been completely gone. Uh, here's a Zekrom run. So it says four brand new black and white expansion cards. Yeah, I really wish I held on to those and like really knew what I was doing back then. Because I do not, I definitely did not. Uh, one of three foil Pokemon, Ho-Oh GX and a Crosma GX and Marshadow GX. This one, I believe it was, yeah, it was a ho -Oh GX one. Yeah, I have, I have ho -Oh GX, I believe. Yeah, for my TCG booster box. <laughs> I'm getting pretty stacked up here right now. And here's another black and white one. Let's see. 
Oh, well, that's where the um, tapping is from. Okay, let's see. Special preview of the Plex 5 Pokemon chosen for more impact from previous releases. A great window and design for displaying your favorite card. Hmm, that's cool. So, yeah, these are all the tins that I have. Um, well, there's one more, but you know, it looks a little different to the ones I just showed you, so that's why. Um, it's in a little different section than these, but we'll get into them. Nice, get out of the way. All right, bam, bam. All right, so let's head into the third and final box. You can probably see what tin I'm talking about, so let's just get straight into it. The Sobble one, it's a different design, so that's why I keep it somewhere else. Um, so, yep, Sobble one, Sword and Shield, brand new. Now, this we opened in my first ever video, Detective Pikachu case file, so keeping that. Crimson Invasion uh, booster box that was on sale at Target, so I was like, you know what, yep, let's get it. And one of my biggest purchases is none other than the Japanese Sword and Shield booster pack with five cards in each thing. I opened them all. Um, I wish I started YouTube at that time, but I did not. We definitely got some cool stuff that you guys will see eventually. But yeah, I hope I can do that again in the future. Uh, not too often, because it is pricey. But yeah, every once in a while, it's fun to open these. And let's get into the final box right over here, which is very special. Box of all boxes. We're talking thousands of pokemon cards in this box um my prized possession i'll give a little sneak peek now all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this little pokemon tour of my room i'm really hoping i can expand it in the future um i've been saying it a lot but i'm just gonna sum it up now 10 likes will open up the vault x binder and if that video the vault x binder video gets 10 likes we will open up this and go through one section uh, so yeah, let's just keep this train going, just train of support. Thank you so much for the support on the first video. I did not expect it to go that well, and I really appreciate it because I enjoyed making it. So getting feedback, um, positive feedback as well, uh, just felt good. And yeah, hope you guys are all doing good, all safe. I know it's a rough time right now, um, but we're all in this together. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Enjoy. So let's quickly just, boop, that's it. <laughs> it's all I'm showing you guys. <laughs> PSA, I will not only be doing Pokemon. Um, that is only one of my hobbies that I enjoy. I will definitely bring in a lot of variety and I'll even take some um, ideas if you guys have any. I'm open to anything and hearing what you guys have to say. So yeah, thank you again and see ya.